The purpose of this clip is to give you a practical example of phase coherence off a single sound source with two microphones. Um, the two microphones we have are the Sennheiser 421 and the Shure SM57. And they are both recording a single speaker of our Marshall 412 cabinet here. Um, in order for the microphones to be phase coherent with each other, the diaphragms within the microphones need to be moving in tandem, meaning they need to be moving backwards and forwards together at the same time. One interesting way to check phase is to record the two different microphones on their own individual tracks and then compare the two waveforms. On the top track, we recorded the SM57. You'll notice I zoomed in so we could see the wave cycles clearly. And on the other track here, we have the Sennheiser 421. You can tell that the two microphones are in phase with each other by looking closely at the waveforms. Here on the 57 track, you can see that the waveform is moving down. And on the 421 track, the waveform is also moving down. And when the waveform on the SM57 track moves up, the waveform on the Sennheiser 421 track also moves up. To best hear any phasing issues, we're going to want to make sure that the pan sliders are centered on both tracks. Also, we're going to want to make sure that the output volumes of the two microphones are relatively similar. As you can see here, the 421 was tracked considerably hotter than the 57 track, so we're going to need to boost the volume of the 57 track to make it relatively equal to the 421. If the waves don't match up in the edit window, the microphones are not in phase. To correct this situation, you can move one of the microphones back and forth until the two waves match up. Here we have another Pro Tools screen where you can obviously see that the two microphones are not in phase. Their waveforms move in opposite directions. Um, here we can see that the waveform on the SM57 is moving up and the waveform on the Sennheiser 421 is moving down. Here the waveform on the 57 is moving down and the corresponding waveform on the 421 track is moving up. When two signals are out of phase as these are, 180 degrees out of phase, they tend to cancel each other out resulting in a much poorer sound. On this Pro Tool screen, you can see here on the left, we have the Shure SM57 and the Sennheiser 421 in phase with each other. And on the right side, we have the two microphones out of phase with each other. The purpose of this is to illustrate for you, side by side, what the microphones sound like in phase, then out of phase. Phase is a complex issue. The more practice you have with it, the better you'll understand it. 